Uh, the Bay Area, so California. Bay Area. Okay, Erica, Bay Area, how old are you? I'm 39. 39? What do you do for a living? I'm in cloud technology. You're a what? Cloud technology, so I'm a technical account manager. Technical accounts manager. Oh, you said cloud technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, cloud. Do you have any children? I do. I have two boys, 14 and 12. Okay, two boys. Both by the same man? Yes. Yes. Have you ever been married? No. No. So two boys, 14 and 12, 39. Um, let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for an educated man, um, a world traveler, someone who's family oriented, spontaneous, um, likes to be adventurous and likes to eat. Um, cause I like eating and I like cooking. Uh, and I have a long list, but those are the top ones. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Dirty fingernails and dirty teeth. <laughs> dirty fingernails and dirty teeth. <laughs> yes. And someone who doesn't have a passport. Um, cause I travel a lot and I travel a lot with my kids. So I need that. And if you don't stimulate me mentally because I'm challenged at work, I will get bored and kind of zone out. Huh. It's something about her eyes. I feel like I feel like she about to take us down some rabbit holes. Mm -hmm. She got two kids and she mm -hmm. seems very demanding. Yeah, she said something new. She didn't say just any traveling. She said a world traveler. Oh, come on, bougie, pretty E. Come on with it. What you got up your sleeve? She kind of come across like she didn't seen the nicer things in life. You know, she didn't been spoiled a little bit. Let's see if she tell a tale of the spoiled baby mama. <laughs> yeah, either that or this is a thin line. Like them mm -hmm. eyes, like fatal attraction, fellas. Be careful. Oh, thousand weenies. <laughs> you got to simulate her mentally. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Someone who is 6'2 or taller, um, someone who is averagely fit, I'm not going to say 100% muscular because I'm not, but someone who's fit and can do outdoor activities with me. Okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Yes. And I already know the comments are going to say something, but minimum 200K. Um, and that's only because of what I make and my lifestyle. And so I need someone to keep up with my lifestyle. Huh. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. This is a 40 year old, 40, 40 year old baby mama, two kids, two teenage kids. She wants you to be six foot two, 200 K minimum and shape fit. Huh? What's going on here? She said, you ain't got to be 100% muscle. My goodness, 6'2", not 100% muscle, just like 90% muscle. All right, 6'2", 100%, 90% percent muscle. And make 200K. This is a heck of a ninja. <laughs> Golly. What? All right, 200K, 6'2". All muscle. Well, 90% muscle. You make a certain amount of money. Yes. And I already know the comments are going to say something, but minimum 200K. Um, and that's only because of what I make and my lifestyle. And so I need someone to keep up with my lifestyle. Ooh, child. So I'm assuming your <laughs> children's dad made that amount of money. Well, he passed away 12 years ago. So I've been oh. a single mother their entire life. So this is me caring for them and having this lifestyle on my own okay well first of all i'm sorry about that it, um there we all sorry it's unfortunate yeah. all right but but mm -hmm. the dating market does not care like me and mr walker can sit up here as married men and say oh it's unfortunate you know yes. the child both of your kids dad passed away but the dating market don't don't care at all because they they looking to date you we ain't so we like that's unfortunate sister and here we go so why is it just unfortunate 
because you back on her looking to date, and it seems as if sister, you don't have too much self awareness for your situation. You 40 years old with two teenagers. I don't care how much money you make because of who you just asked for. You don't qualify for that. Not at your income level, not at your appearance level, not at your age. You don't qualify for him. You have struck it out. Struck it out. <laughs> All right. You striked it out. It's over. Man, here we go. Dad passing away. So 200K. So if he made 100K, don't reach out to you. If it's a hundred K in mobile, like mobiling, if they can make more, if it's an upward mobile salary increase. Okay. If it's, so you do not want to date a man that you make more than. I will be honest in today's day and age, I know that's going to be the case. Do I prefer to make more than a man? No, but yeah, well, that's no. why I, I said. Mean, well, here's the deal. There's men that make more than 200 K. Well, True. what always what always comes down to is, do they want to date you back? And if they want to date you back, do they want to date you back in the way of marriage? Because it seems like you want marriage. Correct. Right. Yes. So he exists. The question is, does he want you back? So is that what you're normally attracting? Um, I attract all kinds. I've attracted people who've made over 200k. I attract people who make lower than 200k. My Main concern is someone that is upperly mobile and someone that can grow with me and we can grow our money together and someone that can meet my lifestyle and continue to increase. Yeah, so. don't play with it. <laughs> don't play with it. She said she's familiar with my show. So you already know the cousins are going to talk about this. So. You already know. Look, she like, mm. look, look. She said, I don't single by choices. Listen. We're not going to sit here and be the all police. Is there a man out there that makes 200K that will go in here? Yes. It's probably probably five of them on earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> but she's going to look at every one of them five men and say, uh-uh, I can do better. Why? Because ain't then one of them ninjas 6'2". And they for sure ain't mostly muscle. <laughs> all right? That's what they ain't. They most likely wider than they is tall. And he'd, he'd be smitten with you. Yeah, love you for a long time. Still might not get monogamy. Imagine that. Because <laughs> 200K, they're going to stop disrespecting that. To, is it safe to say, let's, let's explore this, that 200K elevates a man higher than 200K elevates a woman in any aspect? Hmm? Stop with the money, ladies. It ain't helping y'all. Take the money away. So when y'all come up here on these dating shows, act like you're broke and move like that. As Unc say, act your face. That'll get you further. What do you want to, because what, what they will say, I've been doing this show for four years, Chop. So the comment section is going to say, you're delusional. 200K. I'm you not. have two children. What, it's impossible. What would you say to that? I say it is possible. It's more about energy matching with that person. As simple as that. Let's do this again. Okay. And before she stand up, she sound like the woman from the future video. Remember he's up here and the one girl, she said, why would you tell your friends to do that? She, they say, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. And they possible. start freaking out. Possible. Erase possible is dumb. Get that out. Anything is possible. Huh? Probable is it probable? Pretty e. Nope. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, you got you got a good body. Huh. <laughs> this is basic. This is that. Uh, like I said, it's unfortunate her husband passed away, or her or the father of her children. Don't know if she was married. She wasn't married actually. Ha <laughs> ha. So. Her baby daddy passed away. But that's that's a good body for a married woman with two kids. But you ain't married. You're single. And you never was married. I'm over this woman. And I pulled this off her IG story. Her Instagram is private, I want to say. But this was all her story. Well, that's her. Uh-uh. Huh. 
It's two hundred thousand freaking dollars. I've said it before. Do if you gain the attention of that guy, can you maintain it? And do you want to even try to put in that work, that effort? No, you don't. You're just gonna be insecure and you're gonna sabotage. Let it let it alone, sister. Go pay to play. You'll be happier. This woman is average at best. Or at best, best. I mean with a with a whole sad tattoo. She's a hyena, and that's okay. You got a lot of money, two hundred thousand dollars. Go to your local university and find something you like, and tell them get in the car, and he'll oblige. Man, thank you, thank you. All right, so Erica, do you want him to be in the Bay Area? Um, I'm okay with someone not being in the Bay Area. Like okay. I said, I I travel, so. Do you what? Would you? Um, could he have kids? You said he could have kids, correct? Yes. Do you want you said do you want more kids? I do want more kids. Okay. When was your last relationship? Three years ago. Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh three months ago. Three months ago. Three things you have to work on. Um I need to go to the gym more, work out more. Um let's see. I need to be open to asking for help more and I'm very stubborn. So I need to work on my stubbornness, What's but I'm an only child. So I think it comes with the territory a little oh, bit. Oh, your only child. <laughs> now, you know, I got some pain questions for you, girl. You ready? Yes. Just Jay talking said and spent $20 to ask this question. The men who make 200K or more, have you dated any? And if so, why didn't those work out? Yes, I have. Um, it didn't work out because one, uh, when they tried to impress me, they couldn't impress me um, because I was able to match their energy and they wanted someone that was a little less intelligent than me. Um, so. Can I ask you a question? How did they try to impress you? Um, by saying they've traveled to this country or they will like show off a Rolex or something. And I'm like, oh, great. My dad has that. Or, oh, I've been to this country too. And they didn't like my responses. So that, oh. yeah, I was raised by my dad the way he raised me to make sure that no man could impress me. So that way I could do for me and no man could come in and try and swoop me off of little things. Like I, I told the other woman a couple nights ago, tell your daddy, y'all daddies, oh, fathers, we got to do better because some of this advice is, is tearing these women up. Well, here's the thing. What can we say to these fathers that grew up in this simp generation where, you know, that's what they was taught. They live in that way and they telling their daughters. <laughs> Do simp wild stuff too is unfortunate. This sister don't qualify for 200 k She talking about the guys she done been dealing with and on her level. She got to dumb herself down. She too intelligent. You 40 years old out here in these streets. The guys that are coming to you, they coming to you because they can identify you. They say you they match. It's unfortunate with all your money. But you can, you can, Bone Quisha, pretty E, you can mess the game up. <laughs> by going to your local university and paying to play. Now Nug Nug is out the equation. See that? The broke Nug Nug, at least. Yeah, some of these fathers get the worst advice on earth. Your daughter up here, two for two, never been married. And I mean... Shout out to Divine Photos. Says, why didn't she hire a matchmaker? But on Kendra, 200K? Scared. Scared of what her results gonna be. <laughs> money, 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 money. Shout out to Airstrike Debo. Says, don't understand why they think that the man they want is supposed to keep up the lifestyle they created. Is this camera on me? Because she's a big, strong boy, and it's her way or the highway. And it won't stop, and it don't stop, and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Rachai Media come through with Pretty E Swan song with this 50, making it a solid $200 for the skip. Says, pull the skip trigger when you're ready. Good night. 200k delusional 200 dollars right on <laughs> mm -hmm. to the pit there we go my ass fuck is you talking about
This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, tell things to get brighter. Mm. Over. Pretty E. Tell you what, Pretty E is kind of, it's a good tale to show the younger women because Pretty E is at that point where she got some of the king's gold. She claims she make it 200K a year. She a world traveler. She's a bit arrogant. All right. She got a single only child syndrome. I know, you know, Kevin Samuels introduced me to that term because he was one himself. And I guess that comes with that selfish mentality. But that woman there, she is the end result of so many boss chicks. She don't know which way is up. She really think that she's going to land this top 0.00001% guy in her current state. And that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Shihande said, pretty E, have you considered relocating and downsizing? This is a problem of black community. Living beneath our means, prioritize your future. Um, I have well, considered. You can respond. Oh, Jehanda, see, we just sat here. We could all be getting into bed right now, relaxing, and we done pulled this video back. I don't even understand the question. Respectfully, consider relocating. Have you considered re relocating and downsizing? This is the problem with the community. Live beneath our means, prioritize for our future. You supposedly talking to a sister that got some remnants of the bag. She ain't trying to hear nothing you talking about as far as relocating and downsizing at all. <laughs> Jihanda, I'm going. I'm letting the folks know Glade City has fallen because under Jihanda's terrible, tyrannical guidance, <laughs> Glade City has fallen to the B virus. For those of you that are not familiar with, with uh, uh, Resident Evil, the T-Virus, well, we had the B-Virus. B stands for Bonquisha. And, it, and, <laughs> and Pound Town ran by the mayor. Uh, who's, I forget who the mayor of Pound Town. The mayor of Pound Town is Ground Zero. And that's where it all started. So Jihan out here talking because he's infected. He don't know no better. So have some grace on Jihanda because he's a little slow. It's okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what she say at least. Holy hell. No, you, you can respond to that. I, I was going to say, I have re I have considered relocating. However, I'm if I'm able to afford to live in the Bay Area and have a very comfortable life, then relocating would just make my life even more better. I'm not trying to sound, um, I don't know what the word is, but I'm not trying to sound like I'm like, patting myself on the back, but I find myself to be very successful and comfortable in the Bay Area, so. Okay. I was going to say to that, and again, this was your question for you. I don't believe in downplaying who God made me to be, right? So I'm not saying that if, if you have done well and you have achieved and you live a certain way. Because I was, I mean, like, I don't know. Are you telling her to move to Alabama and to date a guy that's five foot seven and that makes $35,000 a year? Is that is that what you're telling her? <laughs> oh, okay. You interested. You said she should look for dudes that's uh seven foot twelve with size four women's shoe and an extreme case of knock needia. <laughs> she don't want you, G Honda. Yeah, this woman, this ain't it. So all right, we got G Honda's question. Nonetheless, what can you say? Way. I, I wouldn't necessarily say, I mean, for each their own. But what I will say is if you're living, I think sometimes, and this, uh, this again could be what was happening with a lot of um, black women that are doing well, right? I know it's looked at like, I make 200K, he should make 200K. But if you make 200K, he makes 100K, that's actually an extra 100K for how you're already living, right? Mm -hmm. So it could be looked at as, Yes, he doesn't make your 200K, but it's an extra 100K. So all the things you're currently paying, some things you might not have to pay. Like mm -hmm. his income now might take care of car notes 
or mortgages or businesses or savings or vacations. Yada, yada, yada. This ain't a good deal for no man. I don't care where she moves to and what the median income is. It's a bad deal. She's 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 masculine. She got them kids. It's over. She 40, stuck in her ways. And she definitely arrogant because ain't no way some woman 40 with two kids. And you, my name is Pretty E. Get out of here with that madness. What Rose say? <laughs> well, she looked like a character from, from the show Arthur. Like a like a cartoonish aardvark. <laughs> so we're gonna bring Thanos out for her and Honda and just act yeah. like we never seen this. God dang it, G Honda. You done been to the bioluminescence in the pit. You can't <laughs> win, ninja. <laughs> you let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. I am inevitable. We're gonna act like that didn't happen. We just gonna yep. Yeah. Yep. We appreciate y'all for coming through on your way out. Make sure you hit the like button if you already haven't. That would be egregious.